Hey there, Pokemon trainers! I'm Trainer Connor, and welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Be sure to like if you end up enjoying this particular video, and definitely subscribe so that way you don't miss any future videos. In today's video, I'm going to rank my top 5 favorite Pokemon from the Goar region. Keep in mind that this video will contain spoilers of new Pokemon, so if you haven't purchased the new Pokemon games yet, I would strongly suggest not watching this video, it's up to you. Pokemon Sword and Shield have been out for nearly a month now, and to be honest, I was pleased with the two games overall. Of course, there are things that could be addressed going forward in Generation 8, but the new species of Pokemon are quite good, not gonna lie. Right now, I am currently breeding and EV training my first Pokemon team in Sword version. Which, by the way, is a lot easier to do now. Just saying. Once I get everything trained up, I attempt to get a Wi-Fi battle up somehow without the versus recorder. Damn, why did they get rid of it? I do not know. Anyways, enough of that. Here we go to the top 5 of my favorite Pokemon in Sword and Shield. To start things off, at number 5 is Corviknight. This Pokemon is the fully evolved form of Galar's main Pokemon bird, Rookity. And when they revealed Corviknight in the Pokemon news slash research updates, I was amazed by it by its design, ability, and its statistics. I immediately got him on my team during my adventure. I plan on using this Pokemon Corviknight. Competitively, no doubt about it. He's essentially the Skarmory of this generation. At number 4, I put Grimmsnarl, a dark slash fairy type Pokemon. That typing is brand new, and my god, it is unique. The design is good, and his stats are definitely up there. I really like the name too, Grimmsnarl. It sounds badass, you know? At the number 3 spot, I put all of the three starters in one simply because I wasn't spoiled for them. When I saw the three fully evolved starter Pokemon during my adventure, I was in shock. They looked awesome at first sight. My personal favorite is Cinderace, even though Inteleon was my starter. Or Sobble, however you want to say it. Do not worry, I got all three starters by trade so I will be using them in future battles. I'm super, super excited to do that. For the number two spot, I chose Dragapult. Dragapult is considered the pseudo-legendary Pokemon of Sword and Shield. What makes this Pokemon unique is the typing and the specific location that they dwell in. You can get a wild Dragapult in the wild area by mass raid battles, but it's very rare. I ended up getting its pre-evolved form instead, which is also rare, but it's in the Lake of Outrage's grassy area. I love the design and I can't wait to drop some Draco Meteors with this pseudo legendary. Speaking of legendary Pokemon, to finish off the video, my number one favorite Pokemon in Sword and Shield is Eternatus. I did not know that this Pokemon existed, and when I saw it, I knew this was my favorite. I mean, I love Zacian and Zamazenta, but that dragon is too supreme. It's very versatile, especially in raid battles, and it uses Dynamax Cannon. I know I keep saying this, but damn it, I love the design and typing, just like the previous Pokemon that I mentioned. Dragon and Poison? My goodness, that's a first! And so, that concludes my short video on the top 5 favorite Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Feel free to list your favorites in the comments below. I am curious about what you think of the new Pokemon. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, trainers!